Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Welcome in to my love and sunshine that I'm bringing you here from these beautiful, let me scrape that water back there, these salty shores. So I hope this lifts up your day. I always do because this is part of my life. I've always been an early riser, but of course I was born at 4.44 in the morning. Sometimes we sprinkle through little secrets like that for those of you who show up. If you're wondering where I'm coming from, right? A uh, bit of eternal flame, not a bit. The whole thing of the eternal flame coming up in here. That's part of what we afford when we join a channel, when we subscribe, which is free as always. Um, we get to share the, the essence, almost like a toolkit of the person whose channel we're going into. And at this channel, we do the white glove, no fingerprints. I am not here to uh, leave any of my information tracing on your soul so that it would take away from you. Everything here is shared and shareable okay friends so coming from a place of love unconditional love all right whoop i don't know y'all they i try to pull it back and they just keep popping out so i'll show you about that kung fu fighting in just a second and there were so many people up in the sunrise this morning they were talking about those who have been mummified meaning all those words that people said about you throughout life even if they were try tried to give you words of comfort like when my oldest hit uh died of an overdose in 2013 and they brought him back to life but they were like suck it up buttercup but I, well it was like who are you this is somebody they'd never had kids and they were like 40 i'm going okay all right some little bit of grace right there of course later on found out the whole truth they weren't they weren't friends they were users right when people want your giftings but they don't want you the way you'll know is when you go through troubles, trials, tribulations, or even just some teary days, there's often a harsh pushback. That's how you know it's not genuine. And you learn at that point that, hey, it's not pushing you back in the box. It's saying, this is something special for you. Don't share out your pearls, your amazingness, because pearls come from difficulty in life with swine. And it just means people that, that have their head in the mud and their head in the dirt. You know, I, um, I'd say acting like an animal, but animal, but animals can be more civilized than a lot of human beings, right? Because they're not human beings. Let's get back into our human nature and back into this conversation. All right. So, <laughs> Kung Fu fighting, right? They said, Joy, we need to pull uh, an encouragement card this morning before you get into all that sun stuff that is going on. It says, my discipline today will create my freedom tomorrow. Now we're going through what could, I guess we could call them rocky times energetically. Uh, let's call it turbulence, right? Because that's really what it is. It's the air part of the plasma coming in because you know, that's why some call it the age of Aquarius. So if you see the Aquarius symbol, it's these two lines going like this, all right? So that's kind of like, like a wonky train track, but to me, it's air and water coming together. It's always been the plasma. And this is the time and era that it's been landing. And uh, many people we've been going, if you're fairly young, uh, you might not see it and just think that's the way life is because the last 20 years has been something, something. But if you're my age and you've been alive for over 40, man, it has been like going in a deeper grind, like going into the four by four mode. And you're like, I don't know if I have any more gears, any more off-roading capabilities. It is time for the winds of change. So that's what's coming in now is the winds of change. And as you know, when different pressure systems come together, they kind of rumple and crumple and it can create that turbulence. It can create severe and strong weather, which is a lot of what we've been having. Um, high pressure systems, I'm talking about energetically, not high pressure weather systems, but these things that come in with this immense pressure, like we've had these heat waves and dense uh, humidity here where we're at, um, things that can fatigue and malaise and wear you out. So it says, if you can't, you must. And if you must, you can. Or like Eleanor Roosevelt said, the things you think you can't do are the ones you must do. So point is, this point in transition, especially now that the Aries North Node has been activated, is you're going to find life looking like things are being sucked off of you, people losing their jobs, things coming to an ending, some of them very abrupt. And that could trigger another cycle of emotions, not feelings, because if you stop and, you know, just like if you're about to get hit by a wave, you rarely just go crashing with it. You often plant your feet and try and go in a way that it moves most easily past you. 
Um, just like, could you imagine if the pilot was trying to adjust to the turbulence? It would just only compound it. So instead, you try and get that bit of footing and you feel inside of you and talk to your feeler like, like the stuff going on with my son. It's like something inside goes, I know there's greater wisdom occurring here than what I can contribute to this situation. And choosing to be thankful that that greater wisdom, that greater hand of help, the all-seeing, all-knowing one is coming in and being intimate in a place that I cannot, nor do I need to go. We all have an intimate place that is reserved only for God, for our spirit, all right? And that's where all life comes from. Our origin, which makes you original and unique. Nothing else can go there, okay? So that part has helped me hold steady, even though the other 99 point whatever ivory soap percent is being like, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? So you may be feeling a bit of that and it may kind of come and go. So you'll think, not really. <laughs> okay. So little bits of it are common. Things that make you question yourself, question relationships, question everything because it's going into Aries. And I mind you, that's where Chiron is and Chiron's smack up in the middle of that thing, y'all. Thank goodness, well, it's just a little bit past, so it's all happening exactly as it should, that there's enough to be able to keep some traction, to keep some roots in so that the fruits can rise up. And that also is gonna happen rapidly. So let's smooth this thing out and let's get into the things that we think we can't do. Like the old emotion feelings, like squatters on our energy and our territory. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. With him coming and going from the home, I only have two bedrooms. And it's like, okay, where am I going to do my tarot? And they're like, Joy, get outside and live because that's where you're happiest anyway. So this morning when I arrived and the winds are whipping, I'm like, I guess we'll find another way, won't we? Because my garden right now can feel a little bit stifling, like the like the energy isn't flowing, like we need that openness. They're really getting us into the airy part of the plasma because plasma is air and water. And it's that expansion and contraction. It's how we even speak. The vocal cords have to be moist, right? Our breath needs moisture in the air. That's why people who live in arid places have to put humidifiers there or else everything starts bleeding, okay? So getting into the space out here and figuring out, navigating it each moment at a time. Like a lot of these aren't lasting stuff, so you don't need to write it down in your book of records. It's just taking time to navigate through it and going, oh, okay. I'll make a little mental note, but more like a post-it note so it can be pulled off when it's done. And we're gonna get through this. And we're gonna navigate through this and we're gonna find a way, not forcing, not pushing. But if one little bubble of hope arises and it says, ah, blah, 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 and it has vision and inspiration in it, then do it. And if it peters and wanes just about as fast, be like, okay, okay, okay. It was just a little heartbeat. And then continue to cry out or to call out or to ask for the assistance that you need. Cause I was like this clutter in my home because things had to keep being moved pretty quickly and sorting out, especially with having had that person removed from my home and trying to regain footing and knowing who I am when I was in a state of suppression. It's not very easy. And many of us coming into this Aries, we're gonna be finding things that were suppressed that we didn't know. Like you might hear uh, my welcome to my channel video that I did just a little while ago. Um, ton all of y'all, thank you for showing up. And it's, it was some tears that I didn't know I would suppressed for so long because I was trained that way, I was conditioned that way. And it just becomes a part of your nature. This is who I am, no, that's not who I am. I'm a very feelings-based person. Uh, same as when I read the cards. Same as when you're somebody who's had your eyesight diminished for over 20 years and at times totally shut down. You've had your ears diminished for over 40 years and then sometimes completely shut down. You learn to um, use what senses you do have because to me being unloved is the most horrific feeling ever. And I couldn't do it. So I would always find a way to connect with life. And that's how I began to know that life is the source of love. Okay, friends. So anyways, I was able to get a few things done and it came with ease. There wasn't any crunching in my spine or my body because my body very much speaks to me and thus the feelings, the sensations, right? So whatever your language is, your love language of how it begins to communicate, you either feel that rise or you feel that fall, get in touch with that and listen to it and navigate and move with that. Because it's so much easier, like the turtle and the tortoise and the hare, to take those little steps of ease 
than to press and push through and push past and dominate and bulldoze because you might not see it now, but the effects will show up later. And uh, a lot of farming and gardening has taken on this new slash old philosophy is that giant machines ripping and tearing somehow is destroying the soil. It's not just what they put on it because even when organic farming practices began to still use the giant machines and not put the poisons on it, there was still a need to replenish and refurbish the soil when this thing has been taking care of life for a mighty long time. It was those practices of domination and bulldozing and ripping and tearing that created so much exposure that it would undermine the system that was beneath the surface. Just like underneath a lot of the soil in the land is this moving water called the, called the water table, right? It's hidden, it's unseen. We don't even know it's there unless you study that form of science. But so it, why go disturbing things that aren't meant to be disturbed? So this is us coming in adult recovery, coming out of the self-help era, right? <laughs> Adults recovering from dysfunction. Because we were told, get in there, dig it in, dig it out. Why would you give a root canal to a healthy tooth? That pain's been coming from somewhere else. And we go digging in there and going, well, while I'm here, I'm going to cleanse it all out. And I'm going to deal with this and cut this off. And I'm going to throw that out. And I'm going to, it's been so harsh. It has undermined the natural biome that's going in there. Just like uh, I showed a card the other day where it was the spirals into the rows and the colored cards. Are they here? Let me spread out and see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. We don't need to go muscle with these shadows because then we flatten life out. We don't realize it's like buying the whole home package. It gets popped there, but then the, the meaning, the love, the zhuzh doesn't come along with it. It's like, oh, I'm going to get everything and then I'm going to feel great. No, that's the win then. That's conditioning. You are you right now. We are organic. We are dynamic. We are spherical. We're not these little flat maps that we just throw darts at, okay? Darts in the dark. Look at this. It's what causes the color to rise and meet you and to kiss your face and to draw you in because it's that drawing in that causes it to rise up. That's the dynamism of life. They say that's a dynamic idea, Joy. We didn't know what was happening to us. I don't know. We all got swept away. And you know, there are people on that side that are calling more and more people to come in and not even be experts, but just because Google's there now, you can research other people's findings and information and just put it together in a book. And all you need to do is, is create a oh, bestseller top of this and say whatever, you know, like a sign could say best hamburger in the area and people are going to pull off because they subliminally think it. We become followers for so long of something that isn't even leading us anywhere. We're going around in circles. Okay, now this isn't for me to convince you and I'm not selling some anything, but something inside you, if it resonates, you'll know in your own private time, in your own meditation, your own reflection, kind of what that is and what that means to you. But no, they said the self-help industry, those books and those programs or whatever, the largest growing industry on the planet. And they expect it to hit up around 8 billion this year. And so they try and get you in to teach these or do this or that. But um, rather than us trying to help the self, how about we ask the self for help to help us? Because no one is as intimate with you as you. And so when I'm feeling feelings now and I don't know what they are, because feelings are those sensations when they're fresh. When they become old and they're out of time and place and out of condition, that's when they become emotions and they're cocktails. Like have a couple too many drinks, something starts to happen, right? And we begin to lose a bit of control and not the domination control, the being at the helm, at the center, at the control center, right? Instead of other things being there because something has to be in control, right? So to get in that place where we begin to ask ourself for help because ourself is the part of us that didn't get scrambled when we fell here and bumped our heads and woke up as these babies crying, needing assistance because we don't just get up and walk like a giraffe or a horse, you know? We have so much that is reliant on other people and that has been a, um, a crippling form. But how do we even know and how do we wake up from it? And that's why those books sell people. That's why they sell. You and I could write a diet book today and by February, we'd be multimillionaires. The book could be trash. It could just have a bunch of fractures and pieces. And that's why they really haven't been helping people because they're not coming from the hole. So we're looking to count a W. 
H-O-L-E. They are coming from the H-O-L-E and they hope you don't find the W. So this channel, welcome to the W, all right? That's what we're bringing in here, your wholeness. Mm -hmm. Because you're intelligent, my friend. When you begin to listen to that intelligence inside of you and ask for the help, because that's what I did. I cried out. I'm like, I have this mess everywhere because I was trying to see what all I have here. What am I supposed to do with my life? Who am I? Trying to remember myself and I asked myself, spirit guide, God, whatever other words you want to attach, because it's so many things. It's all things. And I said, I need you, divine intelligence, to give me vision, to show me who I am, to remind me who I am, and to guide me on this. Like, what needs to go is welcome to go. There is no friction there. I go ahead and make these statements, right? Because I'm having a conversation. And I said, what's meant to stay certainly has a home. So show me, show me how to do that. Show me what is natural. Show me what is easy. Show me what feels like fun and, and connected to who I am. Very personal, very love, very joyous. Ooh, I knew you were out here this morning. I saw you earlier. Mm -hmm. Silent, beautiful, peaceful, harmonious. Mm. Well, friends, they got a lot to say. 16, 16 for whoever was wondering. You can have some sweet 16 today. I hope so. So maybe start out your day like I did and I speak over the facets of my day that I know are coming or that I think will be a part of my day that I'm sensing, feeling coming my way. And I bless them and I speak to them and I set forth the energy towards them, not through my own, through the asking and the requesting, the connecting, right? And I'm finding these beautiful harmonies showing up, which is a nice little word for synchronicities, okay? Um, and bless them a cell. Let me know. Let me know how that goes for you. Drop some comments down below. Tell me what you're thinking of. What's going on here for you. Also, if you're new, join the channel. We'd love to have you subscribe here. And uh, come more into your beauty, my self. I love you. If you love me, touch that like button. Give it a little touch, a little tap. It is all free, as always. Remember, I love you. I've dreamt of you since before I was born.